Hi everyone, Dave May here and welcome to this lesson. Um, this one's about basic picking patterns. It's for people who can strum a bit, know a few basic chords uh, and want to start using their fingers or a plectrum to pick out the individual notes of a chord rather than just strumming them. A um, few basic things to start with. First is um, that for this we'll be using um, classical style um, fingering for the, and that's the right hand, not the left hand. So basically the thumb will look after the fourth, the fifth and the sixth strings and then we've got one finger each so that the uh, first finger looks after the third string, second finger looks after the second string and the third finger looks after the first string. Um, so um, for each pattern there's six but there's only going to be a couple in this lesson uh, there'll be other videos for the rest. Um, on, there's, for each pattern there's going to be a fingering and also a plectrum style way of playing the same pattern. Um, so try both uh, and start them off slow and once you're competent speed them up a bit before you move on to the next one. Okay, so I'll zoom in now on this half of the guitar for a change rather than this half of the guitar and we'll see where we go from there. Cheers. Okay, this is pattern one. There's three chords being used for this. Um, D major, C major and G major. Um, the reason I've picked those chords is because they each have a different bass note. So D major has the bass note on the fourth string, C major has it on the fifth string and G major has it on the sixth string. So as I said, the thumb is going to look after the four, five and six strings and we've got a finger each looking after the other three strings. So the first finger looks after the third string, second finger the second string and the third finger the first string. Um, and also when you're playing with your fingers it's a good idea to have a slight V shape in your hand like this if you can because that ensures that when your thumb goes down and your finger comes up they don't bash into each other, which if you have like this, you have to then start fiddling around to try and stop them bashing into each other. So it's good to have a, a slight V shape so that when the thumb goes down and the finger comes up they don't hit each other. Okay. So the first pattern is very easy, it's just straight from the lowest string to the top string. So for the D major chord we, we play the fourth string, followed by the third string, then the second string, then the first string. Okay. For the C major, you play the 5th string, followed by the 3rd string, followed by the 2nd string, followed by the 1st string. And for G major, you play the 6th string, followed by the 3rd string, followed by the 2nd string, followed by the 1st string. Now the idea is to play this very rhythmically, so if you can use, you know, using a metronome is a good idea. If you haven't got a metronome, maybe the ticking of a clock, which is one beat per second, is a good starting place. So you would just be going for the D major chord, be going. Then onto the C major. Quite a simple pattern, uh, like I say this is for beginners so if you can do this already then that's fine, just move on to something a bit more complicated. Okay now we're going to play the same pattern with the plectrum. Um, for this all of the strokes with the plectrum are down apart from the top string, first string in which case you pluck that one up but that keeps it going as a nice rotating circular motion um, and then you just go through the chords making sure that you're plucking the right note on the bass string for the chord you're playing and the rest of it is just down, down, up. Okay, so we'll start with D. Four bars of D, two of C, and two of G, and then go back to D. Okay, so it's down, 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 up, down, 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 up, and so on. Get ready for the C. That's it, all you need to do is just do that and as you, as you get more confident with it try and speed it up so that um, when you start playing more complicated patterns you can then slow them down and then speed them up and that enables you to play a lot of different things in different styles. Okay, okay now we're going to look at pattern two. 
Pattern two is the same as pattern one really, but in reverse. So you start with the bass note, and then instead of going up the strings like this, you play the bass note, go to the skip up to the top string, and then go one, two, three, and work your way back down again. So it's Okay, so that's fairly straightforward, it's just the reverse of what we did in the first lesson uh, and the first pattern. So, um, okay, now we're going to play the same again with a plectrum. Um, this one's slightly different to the last one. Uh, with this one, you play the, the bass note is played down, and the other three notes are played up because you're working your way back to the next bass note. Okay, so the pattern goes down, up, 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 down, up, up, up. Okay, here we go on a D chord. So it's down, up, 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 down, up, 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 down, up, 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 down, up, 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 down, up, up, down, up, 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 and so on. Okay, so that's pattern two. OK, hope you found that useful and a good introduction to picking patterns for guitar. It's nice to get away from strumming sometimes. And it's also a good foundation if you want to play riffs later on because you need to have that control. Whether you're playing Mark Knopfler style with your fingers or somebody else's style with a plectrum, you need to have that level of control over the, the different strings that you're playing. So don't forget, start off nice and slow, very, very rhythmic. Speed of a clock is good um, and then speed it up as and when you're ready. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.